We could do 16. Come on. Ooh. He's going to have 50 life points left. That's crazy. Fire attack will made up the aqua. Alternatively, I think these two fuse, right? Let's try this first. Yeah, we just win. We just straight up won. Okay, so that's how easy this guy can be. He was really, really bad there with his movement. And uh, yeah, let us just straight up direct attack him twice. Wow. <laughs> like, dude, there might not even be hardly anything in the graveyard. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> we'll take it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that was a that was a quick one. That was an easy one. I guess we'll try with Fiend Castle. Or Tears of the Mermaid, yeah. Okay, we got tears. Let's try for three tears. Oh man, it's tier elements, guys. Watch out. It's, the, it's tier zero. <laughs> oh, we missed it. Okay, well, I guess we'll try for... And if you see the art of Fiend Castle up there, it actually... That's what the art for Toon World in this game. But in this game, it is obviously not. It is a different card altogether, so pretty interesting. Uh... Oh, and we got it, so I can show you guys. Yeah, Fiend Castle. Yeah, so don't be fooled, I guess, if you're running a, a, a tune deck. You know, don't uh, don't think this is your field card, because it is not. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting to see that. As a matter of fact, let's just show you guys that real quick. Yeah. I think I do have a couple Fiends on the other deck as well, but, yeah, check it out. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is Fiend Castle, guys. Yeah, yeah. Increase the power of fiends by 500. But yeah, this is uh, normally the art for uh, Toon World, so pretty strange seeing this only power up fiends and nothing else. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, in this deck, do I have another infinite dismissal? I did just get another Tears of the Mermaid. I do. You know what? I think I'll swap these two out. Yeah, because like I said, infinite dismissal, eh, kind of useful, stalls for three turns, but I think something that decreases... Um, uh, attack overall is better. So, now is this the Pumpkin deck? It looks like it is. Yeah, because we got the Wastelands. Okay. Also got another Red Medicine. In case I need to do some low deck cost stuff. Uh, let's take a look here. Maybe I'll take out this Missile for Wasteland. That honestly seems good. Let's just do that real quick. Um, yeah, okay. And then we'll... Uh, I think we need like one more duel for Reincarnation. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot what time I started this too. Well, it's like 5.35 right now. We'll just go to 5.55 just to be on the safe side. Uh, so I'll save here. Okay, and we're at Major with this deck, so it's either Rex or Weevil. Let's take on... Oh, actually. There we go. Okay. Alright, we haven't faced like Bandit Keith in a while, so... Uh, next episode, we'll probably do that. We'll probably face him a couple times. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Not too shabby, honestly. Um, let's just start with... Let's dump this card and summon this. going right away. And in the turn. What you got, Weevil? Okay. Uh oh. And normally he moves it right toward us, so maybe this is a trap card? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go. Ooh, good combo. Wow, so we drew we drew this along with Toon Summon Skull. Now, as I said, yeah, beans are yeah powered down here in the forest, so you may want to go for that if um, you're having a tough time against uh, 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 Darkness Ruler. So there you go. And I'm just gonna set this as kind of bait. You know, if he moves two squares into it, that's fine. You know. So there's that. Um, honestly, and he didn't power this up. I think Tomb Summon Skull will be enough. So, oh! Well, actually, alternatively, I can show you guys a cool new fusion in this deck. So, Mammoth plus Zombie will equal a pretty cool fusion. Yeah, check this out. Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Yeah, who is a zombie with 20 
2200. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, let's show this battle. Uh, Quagar Hercules! Nice! So yeah, that's a pretty... That's why Mammoth Graveyard's pretty good in a zombie deck. Uh, and it'll work with basically any zombie, you know, as long as it's below 2200, which is most zombies in this game. So, go. Alright, it's the Mastodon Megazord from Power Rangers. Mastodon! Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. I might miss one there, by the way. Did I miss Pterodactyl? <laughs> All right, there we go. And let's see if we can activate this truck card. Ah, infinite dismissal. I recognize you. There we go. And now our mammoth will be unaffected. I end my turn. What you got next, Weevil? Not defending, huh? Or moving out of my way, huh? That's fine. Ooh, Wasteland, that's a pretty good draw right here, honestly. Because we can attack him directly if I want. Um, but I think I'll attack his monster instead. We could also make Queen of Leaves. Um, change of plans instead of the Wasteland. Let's make Queen of Leaves, actually. Yeah, that sounds good. Fusion. There we go. Queen of Leaves, attack. Nightmare Scorpion. Ah, you got me, Weevil. You got me with that one, partner, I must admit. Well done. But I'll move toward your leader. You'll move toward me, you know, so. All's fair. All's fair. All right. Nicely done. Okay, defending. Good. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'm actually willing to take the hit from... Oh, we got it, guys. We got hand battle warrior. He battles with his bare hands. But I think I'm willing to take the hit um, and just play the Wasteland card, mainly to make sure nothing, you know, crazy happens to Great Mammoth here. So yep. we'll just play Wasteland. There we go. Yeah, with 3,000, we should be good. Um, you know what? I guess I could move back and attack this, but I think I'll have... Uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, some of these cards are in here just so I can see their attacks. And I kind of want to see how Battle Warrior attacks. I know we'll lose life points, but I kind of want to see, you know, what animation it looks like in this game. You know, one of Joey's signature cards, so we'll just do that. Attack this guy directly in the meantime. Yeah. Especially if, like, he just stays here in the corner. Or if he, like, runs over this. Like, yeah, I think I'll just go with, uh... I mean, I could even move out of the way of Nightmare Scorpion, actually. So, yeah, I could move, like, right here. And then he can attack me. Yeah, so... Yeah, let's do that. And next turn, if it looks like we've got this wrapped up, I'll definitely just show Battle Warrior's attack. Just to... Just, just so we can take a look, you know. Signature Joey card. Yeah, and it looks like we do, because we can move two squares here. So let's just, um, just to see. Let's have Battle Warrior attack this card, because I want to see how you attack Battle Warrior. Does he indeed fight with his bare hands? Nah. Well, we're about to find out. You know, sorry that I'm making you lose Battle Warrior, but, you know, you're a signature Joey card. I just want to see... I want to see your animation in this game. Because <laughs> I like it in Forbidden Memories. Let's see what he does. Oh! Oh! Not bad, honestly. Power Knuckle. Nice. It hey, looked pretty cool there how he powered up. He's just like, huh! Oh, you know. <laughs> Not bad, Battle Warrior. Not bad. But we see he does indeed fight with his bare hands. Not too bad. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, we'll go with Great Mammoth, and we'll attempt to end the duel, let's see, right here. Very good, very good. Okay, so Weevil and uh, Darkness Roller really didn't give us too much trouble today. All right, you win. There we go. Okay, and I guess we can go for about 13 more minutes. You know, assuming I'm right, I could be wrong. 
All right, three in a row. Let's see. Okay, we'll try it for one anyway. Okay, I guess Kumo Tokyo it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed it big time. Well, uh, Quaker Arts. Oh, I missed that too. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Man, we haven't hit a three in a row in a while. I've been doing kind of bad though on those, but that's that's my bad, guys. All right. I remember one recording session we we were on fire with the three in a rows though. Okay. Well, actually, um, looks like we have a reincarnation available, and uh, you know, there's no guarantee I'll get a a card that I kind of want. So, I guess for the rest of the episode, we'll just try to reincarnate a couple times and see if we get. Uh, Something I'm willing to keep. So, Kumo Toko, right around 21. You know what? Let's reincarnate that, actually. Let's see what we get here. Uh, is that a uh, hard armor? <coughs> yeah, it is. Uh, what is that? Oh, enchant. Ooh, is that a fish? We might honestly save this one. Ooh, and a plant. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good effect monster. So, yeah, she's a fish, which can uh, fuse with some of our dragons to make uh, Kairushin, as I'm sure you guys know. Uh, how many fish do I have, by the way? Let's go to type sort. Um, I think I just, yeah, yeah, I just have just white dolphin. Okay, so I think we'll keep Enchanting Mermaid. Um, but yeah, this card actually has a pretty good effect. Yeah, we're just gonna basically let our life points at least get up to 8,000 before we uh, finish up the vocal leader here. So we can just talk about whatever in the meantime. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time for a little Harpy No Honey Motion. Yo, reveal face down. I said this before playing Harpy and Charge on the show. And now, well then, <gasps> Magic Jammer? Mmm, spicy. But you just lost the duel because you just played the card. <laughs> The duel machine is surely in to deal with someone of your limited phone cold sister. If you somehow managed to beat it, I might consider delivering you. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're a third-rate duelist with a work like Now get out of my sights. <laughs> right. The channel should be here. Gotta tweet out the fact that I'm live. Thank <laughs> you. 
And uh, yes, this will activate solid wishes. Start gaining more and more life points. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do an audio test here. Audio test. Do an audio test here. Now yeah, we're good. Okay. And then we do. Bada boom. Pretty lucky me, I have to say. Oh, and how much luckier can we get? We get to keep the duo, the best part of the game. And we also get to play Morphing Jar yet again. You don't have to rent a tribute. Go, Morphing Jar! Now we discard all the cards in our hand. Well, then, we draw until we have five and one. Sweet. And now I activate a face down. Jelly Quint Duo. Actually, a card we recently uh, reincarnated in um, Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses. And man, oh man, is that a good card in that game? It has the green cap on it. So, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, which, in, in that game, there are cards that can copy the attack and defense of whatever's the highest at the moment. They're up. Really cool pull So, yeah. pretty awesome.
It's so funny, but with the uh, Penguin Soldier combo, where we, we lock the AI, I'm actually like <laughs> uh, helping Penguin Soldier you know, avoid the uh, Mirage of Nightmare in this card, which is pretty hilarious. to be at 10,000 life points. I think that's a comfortable amount for the rest of the triple, you know, in case we break or whatever. Let's just penguin that card out of here. Yo, Mighty Penguin Blade. And now, let's end the duel in the most hilarious fashion. Yo, Penguin Soldier, painting top penguin big blade slice. Alright. Nice. And we have the most high power. Well, machine three, let's do it. See what Kaiba has to say. Uh, it's time, you. The true power of the dual machine. Bone go to do this. <laughs> Let's grab good old Cyber. Oh, yeah. Sounds like fun. This is going to hurt a bit, but that's what the cushion of life points we built up for this <laughs> one. Let's bait the Harpy's Feather Duster. And or magic. Let's get him to use it traps on his own monsters. So, there we go. In a uh, magic gym. Which means uh, graceful charity is now taking it back to me. Very good. Right 
Statue for no reason. Oh, look, wow, soul is a pure. Ooh, tremendous. We're getting some burn cards, Jack? We get, we get what? Alright. There we are. Right. And you may be wondering is there anything else to do after triple, you know, 15? Yeah, you've cleared the final triple. Right. Are they going to go all the way down to 20? What's going to happen? Well, I've got news for you guys. <laughs> Remember, like, uh, uh, some people actually complained about this, like, emails and stuff. They're like, why'd you film the finale, you know, all the way back here at the, uh, you know, like the red section, the little really hard section. Uh, this is, like, purple-ish. But they're like, yeah, we got the finale right here. So people are like, why'd you film the roll of credits and, you know, like, legit, uh, I knew there were only, you know, three triples left. So it's just like, uh, yeah, I really did consider that the finale. But this is what we could call a true end. And, you know, I guess in a true end fashion, let's try to do the triple the right way. So we ended it with Duel Machine 3 at the end. Let's end with Duel Machine 2 at the end. And then we will end with Duel Machine 3 at the, at the very end. Because that's what you're supposed to do in the triple. So... To unlock each, you know, person. Well, let's do it. But yeah, good guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to stop it, watching the episode now, because this has been the finale of Dawn of Destiny. And uh, I'm going to miss you guys. I love you, and I love you. And, like, this was one of my first series, man. And, you know, just uh, something about it, just... Uh, I'm gonna miss, you know. But you know, <laughs> it, it's weird, you know. I feel like even though we're saying goodbye, you know, goodbye to Donna this that it's not really the end, you know what I mean? I feel like we're just saying like, eh, see you later. You know? We'll be back. You know? <laughs> that kind of feeling. But uh, no, yeah, yeah. This is uh, yeah. No, no joke. There's a reason why I titled this, you know, finale stream or whatever. Because yeah, it's it, it's really over. It's it's that simple, you know what I mean? Like Donna Desi is you know, bye bye. <laughs> it's going so but you know, I thought of something to do for the you know part two hundred. I really thought really, really long and hard. I was like, okay, there's gotta be something, right? There's gotta be like, you know There's gotta be something cool we can do. Let's let's get the banks churning, you know. <laughs> 
let's let's you know let's just try to come up with the most epic you know conclusion for Donna Destiny. It's just like eh, this game. Well, let's just say the finale of the game. It could have been uh, oh how shall we say? You guys know Jim Carrey, right? Liar, liar. Hmm, I've had better. I've had better. Yeah, I've had better. Oh. Like, literally. I love this game. I Like, I, obviously, I've made 200 episodes of it. Um, I've made a lot of, you know, uh, silent sources. Like, I love this game. This is a great game. 10 out of 10. Well, 9.5 out of 10. But why end it? Why? It's like... <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Alright, Konami. This is a message to you. I need to know. I need to see your file. <laughs> and tell me who was an employee back in 2000 and when this game came out? Hey, read the box. Let's read the box. Uh, where is the box? Oh, it's right here. This game came out in... <laughs> uh, copyright. Uh, 2004 is the Konami copyright. 2004. So I didn't know. Obviously, it was in development in 2003. So Konami, man to man, duelist to duelist, true person to true person. I need to know. Who approved the machines at the end? Because <laughs> that's just, I'm sorry. I love you. I love your company. I love that Co Money is in the practice of making money because here's the deal, guys. I'm going to rant about Konami for the next hour. But I say everything with, that I'm about to say with all the love in my heart. Why Konami? Why? 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 26th, 25th letter? This, the dual machines are literally a 25th letter. They are the letter, question, verb, noun, the present participle. Why? <laughs> I, I do. Why? Why? <laughs> oh man. Oh, it, it it like this is one of those things. You ever have a straight thought keep you up at night or uh Yeah. Like something you you know, something you muddle over that you probably shouldn't, you know, something you just this game keeps me up at night. Well, the ending, the 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 the, the machines, the triple. Like seriously, who approved that, man? I I want names, man. I want I want reports on my desk by Monday. I want emails. I want reports. I want surveillance systems, the works, and I want bugs and cameras installed in both households. Listen, light. I will hunt you down, and I will find wherever you are hiding. I will eliminate you. I am. I am. Justice. I want justice. And <laughs> here's the problem, guys. Here's the problem. Knowing Konami, the same guy who approved the iconic duelist, Duel Machine One, Duel Machine Two, and oh, oh, don't forget about Duel Machine Three. The same employee who approved that steaming pile of canned five week old fart also allowed oh dear that's right that's right right. I said it the same employees employed there I can guarantee it how do I know well if it looks like a duck walks like a duck It smells like a duck, Chuck. Hey, hey. Is that employee working there, Plucky? Am I insane? (laughs) 
Did he improve tier elements format? He did? Wow. How do you know this, Bucky? I don't know. Bucky kind of shrugged his shoulders like. If it's if it's his ducking business to know, look at this, look at this thing. If, if it's his ducking business to know, then he knows. So, thank you, Plucky. You wanna say bye to everyone? Say bye. I don't typically like our experiences. It's taking me through a world of emotions. Oh. Jaden versus wow. Kaiba. But yeah, speaking of ducks, Konami didn't have their ducks in a row. I, I get, see what I did there? You know how there's triples all in a row, and there are three duelists in each row? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that one guy got it. Ah, he knew I was going to do that ducks in a row joke. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. I literally thought of that off the fly. I did not plan that. That's nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man. No, but seriously, like, I mean, I think you guys will probably understand my frustration. Let me explain it to you this way. Triple twelve. I like Yami Merrick, Kaiba. Y Yami, you, you get the three Battle City finalists. You know, any triple, you can't duel four people. And they have to cut someone, so let's just cut Joey out. That's fine, you know. Because obviously, you know, Yugi finished first place, Merrick second, Kaiba third. Since he won the, the battle for the bronze. Oh man, I tried really hard that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, and even Triple Thirteen, you know, Rare Hunter, Rare Hunter, ex basically, that's the Exodia Triple Challenge. I actually like, that's my favorite triple. Um, and what's funny is I've lost in that triple more to burn cards overall than Exodia. Because <laughs> a lot of times what will happen is he'll stall you out with, like, negate attack and swords and... Basically, the minute you put too many monsters on the field, he starts setting just desserts. And obviously, you're trying to be aggressive and stop Exodia, the forbidden one. You know, that advice and legacy of the duelist, that's what you're trying to do. But, uh... But, uh, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, I don't get it. This... This triple, I thought, I, I didn't trust me, the guys, like, I thought about the finale of this game before I started the Let's Play it. This was, uh, you know, about seven-ish years ago. I thought long and hard, how can I make the finale exciting? I can't. I, I, I literally, I, guys, I, I can only be so entertaining. At some point, you just have to smell the steaming pile of cow dung, metaphorically speaking, that uh, Konami left at the end of this beautiful game. I love everything about this game. The animations, the format, the uh, detail, the card quality. Mm. Goes right up to Pharaonic Guardians. Perfect. There's no chaos monsters. There's no, you know, Magician's Force cards. And Dark Magician Girl's in there, but she's technically not a Magician's Force card. Real fans know she was released in um, the OCG right with for Pharaonic Guardian format. So, yeah. But yeah, like, what am I supposed to do with this? I can't make this entertaining. What am I supposed to do, talk like a robot? 
Beep, 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 boop, boop. I set one card face down and in my turn. Like, no, that's just silly. That's just dumb. That's dumb. That's at me doing that noise made me feel as dumb as the Konami employee I'm going to get reports on on Monday. Because I will get the reports. I will. I know people on high, really high levels at Konami. And I shall get the name. And once I get the name, chat, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to dox this guy. I'm going to say a prayer of forgiveness. And it's going to be the toughest prayer in my God-given life. Because the finale of this game, the finale, the, the, the final tier, is a... Mm, ooh, Lord, it's Sunday. Konami employee number 1234579 Pi. Count your blessings. And I'm filming this on a Sunday. And I filmed it on a Sunday on purpose. Because... <laughs> because I knew... Ooh, big guy. Mm. Mm -mm. I almost did it. I almost cursed on a Sunday. <laughs> That's how much the, you know, finale of this game gets me fired up. It's like, really? Like, really, bro? Between the legs? In a real basketball game? That's the making of the leverage. Forget about games of the year. That'll be one of the games of the season. Oh, it was one of the tucks of the season. Oh, it already is in my mind, Clark. Oh, seriously, though. I need to know the badge number. The <laughs> I need a mugshot of the, <laughs> the employee. Who approved this, man? Like, seriously. Like, now, I don't get salty, you know, about. Well, the truth is, like, I do get salty. I just don't you know, affect stream. I'm a little salty right now. But, I have a point. You could have just left, you could have left, the person at Konami who approved this, you could have left it. You know the last triple we did? Yeah, triple 14, you know, flood my 14, my favorite number. Yeah, you could have just done, let that be the last triple. You know, Yami Bakura, Yami Yugi, and Yami Merrick. The Yami triple. Pretty good triple. Not my favorite, but mainly because Yami Bakura is a little too easy in this game. But, well, he bricks with Destiny board, so 99% of the time I duel him, he bricks. Or he uh, board locks himself, where he has like five continuous... And that means he can't play Dark Hole, Aigeki, Pot of Greed, etc. So, those are the easiest duels to win. He literally board locks himself with like two or three spirit messages. And then he plays like a Gravekeeper Servant and like, I don't know, Solemn Wishes. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I also don't know who designed Yami Bakura's deck, but uh, why would you give an alt win condition? deck an alt win condition deck that needs let's rant about yami bakura for a minute that needs all five zones available we're thinking now we're applying some Yu-Gi-Oh theory chat let's talk about yami bakura and why they let's talk this can be a rant this is how konami Failed to properly implement Yami Bakura's aura as a duelist in this game. I'm going to give you five reasons why. I 
had my water, I am calm now. Reason number one. And let's just get the basics out there, chat. Let's get the basics out there and make sure everyone can hear me. In order to complete Destiny Board, you need one thing. You need free zones. Specifically spell and trap card zones. Okay, you guys with me so far, everyone? This isn't complicated. You need... I'm not saying you can't play Magic and Trap cards as a Destiny Board Duelist. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you might want to play Bound traps that are basically activatable anytime. Examples: Sharp Greed, MST. Eh, it's not all. Ninety-nine percent of the time, you can MST something. You know, yeah. Magic cylinder. You might say, "Well, what if your opponent never attacks?" Probably attack, you know what I mean? It's not a guarantee. It's highly likely. Same with like Torrential Tribute. You know, like, they're not guaranteed to summon a monster, but at some point during the duel, they'll probably special summon, oh, I don't know, 20 monsters in a turn, like in Cash Tier format. It's, oh, who knows? Maybe they're playing Pure Burn Turbo. Maybe. Or Runic. <laughs> Okay, I think we all understand point number one. You need five free spell and trap zones. And by free, I mean, like, you can play other spells and traps in Destiny Board, obviously, to support it, like Magic Jammer. That's a good one, et cetera. But uh, here's the one thing you probably shouldn't do, and we're going to criticize Konami's decision here on Yami Bakura's deck. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> you probably should not play a continuous trap that, and I'm going to be very specific here, that can't willingly send itself to the graveyard. What do I mean by this? As example number one, let's take Solemn Wishes. Great card. It's a stall card that gains you a lot of life points. Okay, I'm with you so far. Question. Do life points matter? I, I, this is to all the Yu-Gi-Oh! duelists and the Konami employees. Do life points matter? No. No one's ever going to... Even if your life points reach 20,000, your opponent is never going to MST your Solemn Wishes. They're going to blind MST the card right next to Solemn Wishes because that's more of a threat. That could be Mirror Force. That could be Ring of Destruction. That could be Magic Cylinder. That could be Dimensional Prison, except you guys know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. So they gave Yami Bakura not just one Solemn Wishes, not just one brick, because the entire Destiny board, you know, the spirit messages themselves aren't enough of a brick. We can't make Yami Bakura too difficult. Let's give him two Solemn Wishes. Hell, they might have gave him three, bro. I'm just saying, I've seen him play two at once in the same duel. The same triple. You know, the triples I've been... Yeah, because I've around the footage. I was like, huh. This dude played two at once. Meaning he has two more chances to zone block himself based on the way the AI works in this game. Like, what? Like, okay, okay. I have gotten a lot of complaints about the AI in this game. And it is a pretty, it's a flawed AI. 
It's not perfect. But one thing I will say, this is this is Yami Bakura talking about. He's like one of the final triples, basically. Right. Well, as a Konami employee, you have to understand your own AI. And you have to understand, okay, the AI is programmed to do what? Cheat. I haven't talked about this in Don and Destiny either. The AI cheats in this game. It knows your card. It knows it's like a flip monster, etc. It knows the stats of everything you set. It's like, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the replays where I do the... Uh, Dueling marathons. And like sometimes I'll just set Goblin Attack Force instead of summoning it. And then the AI will mysteriously, if they don't Raigeki it, they'll start switching everything to defense mode. It's like, huh. Why wouldn't they just keep attacking? Yeah, it's not a very aggressive AI. Also, it'll set like traps right away. It's programmed. Trap set. You know, if if it's possible. It literally, in its programming, says, set every trap. Well, why? Well, because all traps have to be set, and then you have to wait a turn. To, to the start of your opponent's turn. You can't activate a trap to turn it set. Unless Makiura the Destructor is in this game, which, if it is, that would be a cool finale. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on, chat. I've got to write something down. Alright, part two of how Yam Konami failed Yami Bakura's deck. Okay, you know your own AI. Not only do you give this guy two solemn wishes, you also have the audacity to give him two life-absorbing machines. How many of his cards pay costs for life points? I'm glad you asked. You ready? Zero. The answer is zero. None of his cards pay life points as cost. I think, and this is really outside the box thinking, the life absorbing machines are put in there to counter chain energy? Which, yeah, there are burn duelists who run chain energy, and it is slash was very popular. Um, here's the thing. Just give him MST. If you're worried about chain energy counters, give him MST, dust tornado, you know, just give him dust tornado. I like dust tornado. The optional set effect of dust tornado, one of the best effects in the game. Because if you use Dust Tornado right, you can set a card during your opponent's turn. And then at the start of your next turn, it'll be ready to be activated. Yeah, it's just take out Life Absorb Machine, put in Dust Tornado. Other continuous, you know, zone blocker cards he have include three Gravekeeper Servant, etc. I think you guys get the point. So let's count. Let's do some counting, right? Counting's fun. Everybody likes counting. We're doing the finale. Um, let's do some counting. Let me read Kaiba's voice line here. It's time you realize the power of the dual vision. All right. But uh, let's do some counting. So we've got Destiny Board. That's already five 
you know, bricks. Well, and I say bricks because this, the trap, destiny board itself is not a brick, but the four spirit messages are. So we're already starting the deck with five bricks. Five cards we never want to draw, or four we never want to draw. One we really, 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 really want to draw all the time on the first turn and go first. Okay. So we're starting the duel with five, four, four bricks. Let's add two for the Solemn Wishes. Let's add another two for the Life Absorbing Machine. We've, we've got eight bricks, chat. I'm going to run out of fingers quick. Okay, okay. Also, another thing. Another thing. If you are going to run zone blocking cards like Solemn Wishes, at least have the decency, aka smarts. Give this man two giant trunade. That way, he, he, and like when you give him giant trunade, just have it in the coding. Like if zone blocked with gravekeeper servant, etc. If zone blocked, play trunade. Like Konami, do I have to think of everything? <laughs> like, like seriously, man. <laughs> Hell, give him spiritualism. It's it's in theme. It's got a spirit. You know, we don't have the uh, ghosts of dark sanctuary, but give him two copies of spiritualism. It's a spell speed four. Mini giant trune. There you go, Konami. I just solved your entire problem for you. Take out the two life absorbing machine. Give them two spiritualism. Take out the two solemn wishes. Give them one giant trunade and one, I don't know, magic gem or something. There. Give them a cat of ill omen. <sighs> yeah. God, I love Yu-Gi-Oh, but man, do there's one thing in Yu-Gi-Oh I that makes me want to vomit. And it's not bad game design; it's bad deck building design. And also boring storylines. Those are the two things: boring storylines. A lackadaisical deck design. And let me tell you, Yami Bakura got shafted. I haven't even covered all the other bricks. Just the obvious ones. As far as his Destiny Board track. I, 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 there's so much about his deck that just... <laughs> Why does he have Aquaman Door? Okay, let's... Uh, uh, can we just... Can we be real, chat? Why does he have Aquaman Door? This guy's known for playing Fiends. Give him three ghost, gross ghosts of fled dreams. You know, give him, give him, a, him an iconic fiend with two thousand defense. Oh, there isn't one of vanilla. Okay, give him three headless knight. Just you know, just give him cards he would normally play. You know, yeah. Also, why doesn't he have Jalgen the spiritualist? That's like an iconic, that turn where he like reversed the fates and took out Dark Necrofair with Jalgen, that was an iconic turn. If you don't do nothing else right, if you brick him up with all the solemn wishes and the other cards I ain't even talked about, at least give him, at least take out one of the Aquamadors, give him one Jalgen, just one. And then, when you, his opponent, aka me, I cyber jar him. All those, all five monsters are special summon. He plays negate attack. Next turn, he summons the one of Jalgen and hoses my board. You know how epic that would be. By the way, Jag Jalgen was reason number four. Uh, 
like seriously, man. Like seriously. Like you guys feel me? I, I I think I think at least one person listening to this video has played this game, loves this game, loves the music, loves the storyline, loves Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, they fucked Florence up. <laughs> ah, Konami, I have a message for you too. How dare you disrupt my destiny board combo. Now, I shall unleash horrors of East, like my one and only Dark Necro. <laughs> you see, you can't stop me from using destiny board Konami, for I am Hira, aka the darkness. <laughs> I'll see you in in the purple realm. But yeah, yeah, seriously, dog. Like man to man, duels to duels, they fucked Yami Bakura up. They missed. They. Ooh, I'm sorry, I, I let one slip. But they fumbled at the one yard line. They just. Oh my gummy Kai. <laughs> They literally, not only with the triple, not only with triple, this triple, with the dual machines, not only did they fumble messing up the, the Yami triple. I mean, that would have been a great finale. So they they double fumbled. They basically butt fumbled. They they pulled a Mark Sanchez, bro. <laughs> and, and, believe, like, uh, and like the reason I'm telling all this story and ranting about Konami and like literally, bro. I thought about this. I thought about what I was going to say. And some of the stuff I'm saying, I didn't expect to say it. Whatever. But Konami, you had a great idea. You could have just ended it with the Yamis. Yami Yugi, Yami Merrick, and Yami Bakura. Except you don't fuck up Yami Bakura's deck. You make it a good deck. Good, but beatable. And also, you give him Jiaogi. Okay, so we've been over point one. Aquamador makes no sense. Point two, um, he bricks himself. Yeah, take out all those continuous spells and traps, you know, put in something else. Point three, uh, give him, uh, give him Jiaogi. Point four, Give him just more fiends in general. Yeah. I know Dark Sanctuary is too strong of a field card, but... You know, maybe give him... I wouldn't say Gravity Bind does what Dark Sanctuary does. But Fairy Box... Give him Fairy Box. And I'll tell you why. Fairy Box, unlike... um. Solemn Wishes, etc., has the option to eventually destroy itself. You don't have to pay the five. Also, much like uh, in the anime, it's basically a gamble whenever you attack. They give him Fairy Box. Give him two copies of Fairy Box instead of those other two Aquamador. Take out the three Aquamador. Give him two fairy box and one jug. Take out all the continuous, you know, zone blockers and give him, I don't know, give him upstart goblin. Give him, give him pot of greed. Give him, give him two pots of greed. Let him cheat, you know, like seeker. Uh, you know, I mean, who would notice? No, but no, but seriously, give him like a lot of upstarts. Maybe card destruction. I don't know. The AI, the AI would probably misplay card destruction, but like, no, seriously, give him two upstarts, give him like three jar of reeds. Yeah, just give him good cards. And, and you know, if nothing else, cards like give him Cataville Omen. Just include it in the game, let him search a trap to the top of his deck. And would you give him Necro Valley? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um. I got something else to write down. Would I... Would giving him Necro Valley feel wrong? Yes. The only reason it would feel wrong is for lore reasons. Because the... 
Necro Valians or the Gravekeepers are technically like Odeon, Marrakishtar, and Ishizu. Those are the Gravekeepers. And really, I would say the, it's really more of um, Ishizu's and Merrick's dad and mom. Those are the Gravekeepers. Uh, the children have their own destinies and have fulfilled them. So, but yeah 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 they kind of fumbled on yami bakura's deck and i need the badge number and the name of that employee at konami as well by the way i'm joking i i don't i don't care this uh this game was made about 21 years ago i'm not gonna be too hard on it but when you fart at during the wedding of your finale, I will complain about how the fart smells. And Konami, you just ripped a big one. You ripped it by putting these duel machines at the end. That's unforgivable. Well, Duel Machine 2 is stalling us out with the Gravity Binds. Luckily, we've got Solemn Wishes, so... I'm not really worried on the, the life point situation, so... Okay, whatever. Weather, a spirit that controls rain and is capable of summoning hurricanes to blow the enemy away. Wow. Sounds like a badass monster. Not going to like whether you like it or not. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, I mean, rant over. I've, I've kind of said what I, uh, what, everything I wanted to say. Rant over. Let's have some fun. Rant over. I'm no longer salty. You know. That's a lie, ooh, ooh, Joshua Smith, you are salty. And uh, okay. It's okay to be mad. It's okay not to accept any less than what we deserve. There are times where you can channel your anger into a positive thing. And I need that employee's ID number. I'm pretty sure he's the one the one who made Cash the Tigger Ogre and Unicorn a card. And he also made Shangri La. I guarantee you, the same employee that made Cashetera Shangri-La put the dual machines at the end and front-loaded Yami Bakura's decks with continuous spells and traps. That don't make sense. Also, he gave them three Aquaman doors. The same Konami employee. The same one. I'm talking to the president. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously, man. <laughs> that was a good rant. That, hey, bro. Ten, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. 
Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, uh, there's the zombie. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Ah, go white, magical hut. Ah, now, since I've done damage, a monster from your head. Ah, looks like it was Furious Seeking, a monster which has quite an effect in Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Rose. By the way, it was Monster. Ah, it has a thousand defense. Wait, why didn't he set that? That would have stopped my attacks for a bunch of turns. Odd. The AI just set, like, the strongest thing in its hand. Because it fears Gemini Elf, even though it can't attack. But, um... Yeah. Also, why doesn't Yami Bakura have white magical hat? If you are gonna go the extra mile and give him a spellcaster, you know, in Duelist Kingdom... He played that card. He also played like two morphing jars, man eater bug, and like Lady of Faith, was it? Or what was that card? No, no. Was it Lady of Faith? I don't remember. But yeah, he did play White Magical Hat on his first turn. Give give him three copies of that. I got nothing wrong with that. He played it in the Duelist Kingdom. Give that that's a spellcaster he used. Well no wait, wait, pause. Give him one of those, one Jalgen, and the other changes are already set. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Boy, that was some finale, huh? Boy, it's a good thing we went for the triple round, too, eh? Got some great clips out of that one for you guys. Some really good clips. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, like, for example, if the AI was better, they could have summoned that Aqua Snake in attack mode, took out White Magical Hat, and they got Gravity Bind, so... How am I going to get through that? Torrential? It's a pretty bad Torrential. Plus, I have no other level 3s, so... Yeah, the AI in this game is exploitable. It, 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 is, it is not the best, but... I mean, come on, that was just... That was weird. Oh, boy. Well, alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed... Salty Flood. He doesn't come out often, but well, when he does, for a good cause. And Dawn of Destiny, it's worth the effort, the energy, and the, uh, yeah. It's worth it. 9 out of 10. The only reason it, get, it loses a point in my evaluation Is that one Konami employee. The one who put the dual machines at the end. That's a whole point. Uh, the Yami Bakura deck thing. That's half a point. 
that you lose. It's on you. It's on you, Konami. 8.5 out of 10. I will be generous. 8.75. There are bonus points that apply in my head. 8.90 out of 10. That's my final score. I'm sticking with it. All right, guys. Well, looks like this will be the last turn. Or will it? Will Duel Machine 2 be able to top deck right kick? He installed the duel out, and is Blood Mod 14 really going to end the Dawn of Destiny series here? Or is it possible he'll go for all the cards that are possible to attain in this game? Find out. Now. Does the AI have a monster that can stop a thousand attack points? No, no, they don't. Alrighty. GG. Hi, guys. Hi. That's it. Donna Destiny is a fish officially finale. You think you're ready to fight me next? Yes, Kaiba. I've already fought you 35 times. You're drunk, bruh. Go home. Uh, uh, I love Forest Car. That's cute. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, it is indeed time to roll the credits. But, yes, I love you guys all so much. Thanks for coming to the 200th episode special, which is going to be a VOD. And thanks for coming to my Konami TED Talk. Sure, let's go with that. TED Talk. This will be available on DVD. My DVD. Uh, yeah, it will be available on Audible. Uh, seven years from now, when I replace the Dragon Ball Z announcer. But this is Flood Mod 14. And I love this game. One of the first games I started Let's Play on the channel. But I am glad to say, this is the finale. If you see any other episodes after this, it's because I like the theme of Yami Merrick. And I want to hear it. Dueling Marathon. Saturdays. Every Saturday. Only to die. Bye bye. Checkmate! General Director June. Specification is on Takashi Nakamura. Base system program, Koichi Yagi and you, you hey, I've seen that. Good job. Dual part program, Shinichi Tasaki. Dual kernel program, Naomitsu. Two. Gigi Wa. Momoto program, you hey, Matsuda. Our director. Takashi Nakamura. Game component graphics. Suki Matsuda Koji Namikoshi. Monster modeling and motion. 
everyone. Great job. Monster Design Assistant. Wu Jio Masuda. That's... Music. No. Uri Hiko Hibino. Great job. Sound effects. A R Y. And the Dragon Ball Z announcer. Sound program. Kazuhiko Inaba. And product design. Aiko Masuda and Takeshi Urabe. Yeah, man, what a fun series, though. It's been great, guys. Like, I love, uh, man, I love this game more than Master Duel. I'll just say it. Like, I, 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 everything about the, ooh, the format's perfect. It's old school. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's GOAT. It's GOAT without chaos. The perfect amount of GOAT. It's like Diet GOAT format. Perfect. Perfect format. Diet Go. Special thanks. All of you who follow me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and so much more. Special thanks. Serenity, Spider Monkey, always commenting on every video. Special thanks to Ben Ozugane. Who's been in some of the recent streams as well? And special thanks to all. To myself, the Dragon Ball Z announcer. Alright, guys. Yep. We're gonna hit. I may have one or two minutes of, you know, vlog post commentary, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit in stream here in about, yeah, two to three minutes and just. This is gonna be its own VOD. But, uh, yeah. This has been the finale down the Destiny, so let's head to the library, shall we? All right. All right. <laughs> Pretty good burn card. Pretty good, yeah. Huh. And we picked the raw statue to get this, right? Yeah. Crazy. Uh, honestly, that's probably the best, like, series of cards we've gotten out of a triple. These three plus, like, whatever else we got in that triple, because that was, that was, like, really good. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... So, one thing I will point out, if you go to the library, I was in the library the other day, and I was in the restricted section, and I found this book that, oh my, is that a reporter? Anyway, you'll see up there, we have 539... Out of 1,017 cards, and we're at 52% of all the total cards. Hmm. Hmm. Will I go for, let's say, a reasonable number? Would I go for 70% a C grade? Uh, just on the, the total percentage of cards. Would I? Hmm. That's a good question. Hmm. I'd at least be willing to go to 55%. That's reasonable. That's that's only like maybe three dueling marathons. 50, yeah, 55%? That honestly sounds reasonable. Let's go for 55%, and I'll tell you guys what. If you guys, here's what I'll do. Right now, the subscriber count, I know what it is. It's at like 239. If we get to 
255. So 255. Keep in mind, I do most, you know, dueling marathons, I do them like every three days. So it'll be three days, then dueling, et cetera. So there'll be, this will be about, maybe about five weeks for me to upload all the dueling marathons that I do past this point. So you guys have got plenty of time, at least five weeks, maybe even six. Let's say to Halloween, that's fair, to Halloween. Okay, Here, here's the promise I make you guys. If we get to 255 subscribers by Halloween, now let's, let's make it fair, 260, 260. Yeah, if we get to 260 by Halloween, I will go for hmm, 75%, 75% of the of the total cards. Yeah, some I'll do with commentary, some I'll just kind of, I'll just literally just play the game, you know, no commentary. We're literally just farm, card farming. Uh, Yeah, but I think 55% is reasonable. Because uh, once this VOD goes up and I do the finale, I'm going to miss hearing the Yami Merrick music. And speaking of that, let's listen to the Yami Merrick music theme. Close this out. Yeah. By the way, something I never pointed out here that I need to point out that you can do in this game. So check it out. If you press the X button right here, yeah, you'll have um, basically some options. You'll see the deck one, deck two, or deck three option. I haven't really gone over this. But let's choose deck three. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's a way to do it. There's a way to... Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is... There's a way to... Uh, I forgot. Maybe it's like X and this? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's a way to... um. Basically, to where you have... um, Like a character deck. Uh, I guess maybe I'll look into it on screen, and that could be a bonus episode. Sounds good. That sounds good. Um, what what other options can you try here? Let's see. Yeah, because if I put this, it's just gonna be a regular old duel, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Um. 
Yeah, there is some kind of option to where you can um you can do that whole, you know, character duel thing. Um I guess I'll fix see if I can figure it out. Uh but yeah. Uh anyway, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna, you know, worry about it too much. Uh because I'm sure these games have been data mined, folks. And I'm sure the internet will let me know uh what's what. <laughs> Alright. But but yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get to what I say, two sixty? We get to 260 subscribers. I will go for the library, the 70% of the cards. Some of it with commentary, some of it without. Yep. 260 by Halloween. I'll do 70% for you guys, for the fans. So yeah, if you're if you're listening and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You know you're you're doing everyone a favor. They want to see more. Down this. Uh, yeah, but uh, it feels good. It honestly feels good. This is one of my first series on the channel, and to have the real finale, the the ultra omega, the maximum overseer. You see, Frieza, you're not dealing with your average Syrian warrior anymore. Oh my God, I, Prince Vegeta, I'm Rosetta. And become the legend. The legend that you fear. The legend. That's right, Frieza. Make your jokes while you can. Because I'm about to take you to an all shuffling card game blitz. <laughs> but anyway. No, seriously, though. <laughs> like, um. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's activate his face down gravity mine. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wow. Merrick using a stall card. I've never seen that before. Who could have anticipated that? Wait, wait. Let's get a shock face for the thumbnail. Okay. Uh, 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 Tim, how are we looking? We good? Hey, clip that. Hey, Tim. Tim. <laughs> Tim's literally over there. He's just like. Face palm, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. All jokes aside, let's just finish the duel. The music's got me feeling pretty hype. I am the hype. But, uh, no. But, yeah, we're just going to finish this duel. I'm going to be very calm, very rational. And I'm not going to make any more subtle digs at Konami. I'm going to make very obvious digs at Konami. Number one, Konami. And why the price is going up, bruh? I know the economy's bad, but oof. 120 for a booster box? A 24? Bruh, I know we call you co money, but that's uh I don't know about that. Mm -mm. Magic cuddle, different of muscles. Oh yeah, Merrick. I could smell that. I know the smell of your bluffs a mile away. And I knew that to playing card since I didn't trust your hand, I activated card destruction. This allowed me to sniff out the fact that you were holding onto a powerful magic card, like she shall so say. And with it in the graveyard, Merrick, you can no longer revive your Winged Dragon of Raw. Ha ha ha. Yeah, like for the most part in this game, I've not really talked about the, uh, the, uh, Yami Merrick situation. And let me talk about it briefly. And I'm even going to mute the music and, like, well, let's just be honest, chat. Yeah, the god cards aren't in this game. You know, that's a pretty nice debate by Konami. You know, the fact that the cards you win out of the statues, you know, you either pick raw or... I mean, you would think, you would, th you would think, since you picked the statues, 
hey, maybe at the end of the game, or if I collect enough cards, I'll get the God cards in this game, right? Like, like we all told them, kids. And to be quite honest, Konami, you actually did something right. Props for them. 9.5 out of 10. Score just went up. Because putting the god statues as the perfect, as we say. 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, if you are going to debate, you might as well debate with iconic cards. But let's be talk about Yami Metric Stick. Yeah, him without Raw. Does it feel right? No. But, uh, I understand. Raw is way too powerful. Um, and also, by not including the gods in the game, not including the god cards, you subtly avoid the controversy. And what I mean by that? Well, there's always going to be, you yeah. know, you see them in every Yu-Gi-Oh! stream ever. There's always the hardcore, oh, well, in the anime, it did. Da, 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 da. Card of Sanctity lets me draw until I have six. Therefore. Okay. But on the card, it's printed that you banish all, and then you only draw. Funny. Is that Card of Sanctity actually has a chance to be meta now that it's Cacheteer form. I repeat, I repeat, Card of Sanctity has a slight chance to be meta during Cacheteer format. Slight chance. You know, here in Master Duel. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But let me tell you what, during, during all my Cacheteer Master Duel decks have three Card of Sanctity. Like, non ironically, bro. Because a lot of them get their effects when they're banished. Also, did you know that Card of Sanctity is not once per turn? Think about it, chat. I'm on to something. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, just to finish that part of the rant, yeah, they didn't give Merrick Raw. They didn't have to, but that, see, that's the smart thing. You know what I was saying about by not including the God's cards in the game? By not including them, you don't have to worry about Yami Yugi being too powerful with Slifer or Habit being too powerful. They're not in the game. They're just not. These games have been data mined. Also, you don't have to get into that controversy of, well, do they have their written effects or their real effects? You know, oh, Mirror Force doesn't matter and uh, et cetera. You know, spell or. Spell cards that manipulate attack and defense, they only last for one turn. You know, like Slifer Second Mouth or whatever. Yeah. Or like, you know, Obelisk Reaching Infinity. Those are, oh, that's the real effect. But uh, what about, does it still have that? It's not written on the card. You, know, you don't you even have to worry about people debating that. Because you debated them. So honestly, putting the statues, I've never really talked about it. But putting the statues as the... Hard you win uh system. Pretty pretty iconic, honestly. Yeah, nine point five out of ten. Now nah, let's 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 do some math here. That's really more of a nine point three five seven four two out of That's the exact number. But we round up in the grading community. Nine point five out of ten. Yeah. That's good. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess you could see I saw that coming. Tough it up, my sucks. Right, time to find my legendary ocean. I'll reveal the one and only Cyber Jar. First effect all monsters on the field are destroyed. Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> Got rid of his mirror force, dark hole, magic cylinder. Mm mm. That's a good day. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, well, we'll take out the manual bugs. The main reason is we don't want Jar 2 to reshuffle them in. That'll be bad. I may not attack um, the rest of the ones that are face down, though. Not just yet. Okay, well, we know that card on the far, you know, right by Gravity Vine. We know that's Force Raider. We also know we got rid of Mirror Force, so I am willing to attack that. There's the jar. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Well, let's hope Merrick gets way more spells and traps discarded than we do. Let's see. Uh, oh, he's got Magician of Faith. I guess he can get back Dark Hole. Oh, nice. We've got more for the jar. Okay. All right. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, we did get Magician of Faith back into the deck. So, now that Duster's in the grave, we can at least, you know, uh, grab it back from the graveyard. So, that's good. Oof. 
Ooh, that that hurts. That's pretty strong. Luckily, his damage output is not going to be that high, so... Alright. Oh, well, I guess we can grab Duster back right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Wait, I just realized we just won. And we're going to win <laughs> in quite a funny way by paying by pl playing the card that Yami Merrick's known the most for. Magicado. She says I'll see. Evil. Revive. I very soul. Evil. Even color the beach. Cookie sauce. Evil. Fish. So. And, and much like in a lot of duels, we win thanks to... Let's do the sword position. Huh. England Soldier. Best flood card ever. I, I love Penguin Soldier, man. If you've never played Penguin Soldier, play this game. By the end of it, if you even obtain one Penguin Soldier, you will love that card to death. Like, that, you will fall in love. And this card ha is like my Ka. Like, my, my spirit card in this game. Like, whenever I have Penguin Soldier in this game, I know one thing. Probably gonna win the game. <laughs> Go! Spinning Turbo Top Beyblade Slice Attack! And now, uh, oh, how can I let you hurt me? Uh, be quiet. Now, Turfetize this Captain. Alright, guys. That has been the last two. And we're done. We got to hear the music for a nice long while. I'm in a good mood, so. Ah! Don't get full of yourself. Next time you will fail. All in my shadow game. Ha 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 ha, I'm evil. All right. Oh, right. Last statue. Last statue of the game. I don't know. Let's just pick the... Lifer? Sure. Whatever. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Some of his signature cards there. <laughs> so. All right, guys. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, but this has been the... Yeah, the finale for Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Don. Yes, me. All right. And you guys, you guys know what stands in store for the future. Yeah. So in the future, I'll probably go through. I'll probably be missing this game in like two or three days, to be honest. And and I'll I'll do like a small dueling marathon that I'll post this Saturday. So look forward to that. Uh, but yeah. Um, other than that. I'll see you guys in other series. We've got Nightmare Troubadour. We've got Duelist of the Roses Ranking Challenge. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that here on Twitch. A lot of people love it, so that's good. Um, We've got GX. We were doing Decades Duel Plus. No commentary. But yeah, I'll see you guys in some other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But until then, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. On Xbox. On Xbox. Yeah. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. Yes. All right.
Whoops. <laughs> um, 